Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today. Got something awesome for you. Guys, I'm going to show you how to use the new Llama 3 large language model similar to ChatGPT4, for example. But I'm going to show you how to use it for free. And not only that, in a lot of ways, Llama 3 is actually outpacing ChatGPT4 because it's newer. It has 70 billion parameters and it looks like they're going to expand it to 400 billion parameters in the very near future so let me show you how to use it for free and then i'm going to show you some examples as to why you might want to use it let's go all right so you'll see here that i am logged in and i just did four examples of how i would use a program like llama 3 and in one i did a i gave came up with some ideas for a recent video game i said hey give me 10 youtube video ideas for harold alibit it just came out, apparently it's pretty good. Another idea I came up with is, hey, I'm gonna be sick for work tomorrow. Can you write a write me an email to say, hey boss, I'm sick. Not me, George, I'm feeling just fine, by the way. And it came and it wrote me an exact email for what I should send. And then I said, hey, write me, and this is no joke, a 3,000 word essay on the witches in Macbeth. So if you're a student and you're looking for ideas, I do not recommend copy pasting this in. But it literally wrote me the essay. It is nuts. And I have searched the web turned on, so it even gave me the sources. Bartleby.com, gradefixer.com, etc. And then finally, I got an example here of it creating a video game for me. A basic snake game in Python, giving explanations for each step. Now, I know this is all really, really cool, but here's the thing. It did it for free. Let's go. I'm going to show you how to log in and rock and roll. All right, guys. So the first step and the most important by quite a margin is to go to huggingface.co. So watch this. Hugging. I'll just type it in. Huggingface.co forward slash chat. When you do that, it's going to ask you if you want to try it as a guest. If you try it as a guest, you get like three or four cracks at it. And then it asks you to sign in. Alternatively, you could sign in with Hugging Face. And I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. I want you to keep in mind that, again, this is totally free to use. You can sign up with your email or your GitHub or your Discord, I believe. There's a whole bunch of ways to sign in. Easy to do. Now that I'm in it, though, this is very interesting because when you sign in, there's a very good chance that you are not in Llama 3. You've actually got to select it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this little uh, uh, settings button here, or this little icon. I click on that, and you're going to see here that it says Active cohere for ai now i'm not familiar with cohere i'm sure it's fine but that's not the one i want what i want is meta llama 3 70 billion instruct this is the one that launched today april 18th it's the best free one out there apparently again i haven't tested them all but apparently it's really really good and so far that i've used it it's good so there you go i'm going to go ahead and select that and now i'm going to go ahead and activate it so i'm just going to click on it activate it now, when I go back and I click the X here, you're going to see here it says Meta Llama 370 billion instruct. Perfect. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and click on search the web. And why I do that is because this way it allows, obviously, to search the web. But if you were doing something like an essay and you needed, you know, you needed to cite some references, this way it can pull in information from the web and use those references. Now, I'm just going to ask it anything. So, um, what... Uh, Write me a review of Baldur's Gate 3. Make it long and detailed. Make it a bit, make it friendly. Make it um, for a YouTube video. And again, I'm just winging this, guys. This is just me monkeying around. Watch this. So here it is going to give me what they think could be good for a Baldur's Gate 3 review. Now, here it goes. What's up, gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the most highly anticipated RPGs of the year. Okay, I like it so far. Cut to gameplay footage. It's even giving you instructions. First off, let's talk about the story. Baldur's Gate takes free about 100 years after the events of Baldur's Gate 2. Okay, developer Larian Studios. Cut back to the host. Okay, so it's giving you more instructions on how to on camera. Full of twists and tune, turns, pardon me, memorable characters. I won't spoil too much. Identity, morality, okay, I mean, this is good stuff, guys, but here it is. This was just one-shot prompt. Like, I just typed it in and said, hey, here's what I want, and it gave me back a really good idea. Now, it doesn't give you exactly what you should do. Of course not. You want to put your own flavor in, do your own thing, but there you go. There's just a quick 
idea as to what to do. Let's try a new one. Let's click on new chat here. Let's create a new chat. I'm going to show you another example. Um, write me a 2,000 word academic essay on, and then what are we doing? Um, Hamlet's Revenge. I don't know. Something like that. I'm just going to have some fun, right? Just click anything here. We're having a good time. All right. The theme of revenge is a pervasive and complex element in William Shakespeare's tragic play Hamlet. It's written in perfect English. This is crazy, guys. This is what the new model can do right out of the box. You saw me line, sign up. You'll know that I've got a free account here. It's cooking. I ain't doing nothing, guys. This is amazing. You got, oh, geez, there comes the references. How good is that? It gave us not one, not two, eight primary references. Kierkegaard, Nietzsche, Hegel, Greenblatt, the books when they came out. Guys, you got to try this. It's free. Links in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.